Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. Today our US 11 trip brings us to the borough of Lemoyne, Pennsylvania, where we begin at mile 65. US 11 here is called the Camp Hill Bypass, and we have a concurrency with US Highway 15. The history of Lemoyne traces back to a stone house built in 1724 by John Harris and John Kelso. Originally called the Manor of Lothar in 1750 by Thomas Penn, it later became known as Bridgeport when the Camelback Bridge was finished in 1815. The name changed to Riverton in 1888 but was switched again to Lemoyne in 1905 after being denied a post office due to potential confusion with Riverton, Virginia. The name Lemoyne is believed to honor either Charles Lemoyne, a French soldier who settled near Harrisburg, or Dr. Francis J. Lemoyne. The borough was officially incorporated in 1905 and currently has a population of 4,659 residents. At this railroad trestle, we enter Wormleysburg, which had a population of 3,043 as of the 2020 census. The town was founded by John Wormley in 1815 and was officially incorporated as a borough in 1916. The John Wormley House, which is on the right as we reach the corner of North Front Street, was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1976. We make a left turn onto Front Street and begin a long drive along the banks of the Susquehanna River. Now we come to the village of West Fairview, which was once a borough but was unincorporated in 1998 and is now a census designated place. West Fairview had a population of 1,138 as of the 2020 census. Here the highway name changes to Enola Road. Upon relinquishment of the borough's incorporation, municipal control fell back to the township, which is East Pennsboro here. East Pennsboro is the second most populous municipality in Cumberland County, with a population of 20,910 as of the 2020 census.
returned to the census-designated place of Enola, with a population of 6,103 as of the 2020 census. The town sprang up thanks to the construction of railway lines passing through the region. Francis and Wesley Miller, local farmers, sold two acres of land to the Pennsylvania Railroad for the establishment of a flag station. Francis Miller, being given the privilege of naming the station, chose to name it Enola after his daughter. At the time, Mr. Miller was the sole inhabitant of the area. As more people settled in the vicinity, the name became associated with the local post office and the expanding town. In the autumn of 1902, the Pennsylvania Railroad decided to construct a classification yard, which officially opened in 1905 and continues to operate today under Norfolk Southern. Here we pass through the unincorporated community of Somerdale, which had an estimated population of 479 as of the 2000 census. The community is to our left in the corner of US 11 and 15 and Interstate 81. Somerdale was established in 1909, spurred by the influx of people from Harrisburg crossing the river during the summer months. To accommodate their desire for entertainment, a dance hall was built, marking the beginnings of the town. In 2009, Somerdale commemorated its centennial with a grand celebration. Festivities included a parade, various games, and a year-long series of events dedicated to honoring the history and community of the small town. we enter the borough of Marysville, established in 1755 and formally incorporated as the borough of Haley in 1866. However, shortly after, it was reincorporated under the name Borough of Marysville in 1867. The borough lies in a valley between Cove Mountain to the north and Blue Mountain to the south. The borough had an estimated population of 2,661 as of 2021. US 11 takes on the name of State Road here, as we continue along US 11 and 15, we'll be riding along the bluffs over the Susquehanna River with the river to our right and mountains and cliffs to our left. Norfolk Southern Railroad tracks run alongside the river to our right lower down on the bluff.
We conclude today's video at mile 74. Thanks for watching. We've enabled channel memberships, so for as little as $1 a month, you too can help support our channel and get early access to our regular videos as well as the occasional members only video. Click the link in the description to join. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe, share and follow us on social media, and join us for our next 504 road trip.